guess? I think it can be quite effective to be sanctioning facilitators. And Treasury does, in fact, do that and has done that in the Russian program in particular. Um, there are individuals who, going beyond money managers, are uh, in aviation services or maritime services who are essentially professional sanctions evasion um, uh, brokers. And they have been listed uh, to, to some extent, and I think that can be a powerful tool. It's certainly one that in the Department of Justice's prioritization is at the top of the heap. We will not take assets that are not fully forfeited through judicial procedures and begin confiscating them uh, without, without a legal basis. So the question of what you can do with a seized asset is very different from the question of what you can do with a fully forfeited asset. My focus, the task force focus, is on getting assets to be fully forfeited. What this work is for is for attempting to offer some modest assistance to Ukraine through our forfeiture work at the end of the day, and to plug holes in a global sanctions regime that has already had some success in slowing and frustrating the Russian war machine.